because that's the shadows right in the sky. What a good title that is, what a good title that is. I like that indeed. Well, good afternoon to you, welcome to the show. I hope you're not too bad. I hope you're well enough to listen with us here this afternoon. It is uh, Wednesday, 24th of November 2010, and uh, we should be live here until 5 o'clock. So, if you want to give us a call later on, you can. I will give you our phone number in a moment. In the meantime, we have our guest here this afternoon, Fons Chamberlain. Good afternoon to you, Fons. Hi. And welcome to the show. You nice are you are founder of the local uh, historic group uh, Cambridge Time Travelers. That's right, yeah. Now, no. what do you like to tell me? Because I'm all <laughs> ears on this one. <laughs> oh, well, we're, we're a local history group. We were founded about 2008. I actually founded the organisation myself and with a group of people. It actually started as a radio programme, and listeners of Radio Edinburgh can actually hear us on Wednesdays, usually before before your show. Um, it grew a lot of interest, pe- locals' interest with people about the stories of Cambridge, and it came a group, and we're growing all the time. We've got about 300-odd members involved with the group, okay. and we, we share memories... We have a website where people can put articles on. Um, we've got video on there, like of Cambridge, and all different kinds of things. We have events where people come, and everything's free. We don't charge. We don't charge for membership. We don't charge for events, and we also have audio as well. So okay. It's, so it's a wonderful. It's an all. It's a project for the community really to be involved with their the history of their city. Okay. So you are the guy who are behind this CD we used to play. I didn't know that. Before now, <laughs> but Brian, my producer, didn't tell me. How long did it take you to produce something like that? Well, each, each show. Yes. It could take up to about sixteen hours to put one show together with research, meeting people, Does it? editing. Yeah, it's a lot of lot of work putting a show like that together. Sixteen hours. Yes. Yeah. Where do you get your material from when you produce something like that? Well, well, I'm a Cambridge historian, so. I know the history side, so I have a bit in the middle which focuses on Cambridge history. So I probably look like one, I think a couple of months ago, which you're going to hear soon, probably in the future on the, on the station, uh, looking at the bus service in Cambridge. So I did a bit of history in the bus service. Uh, I've also looked at um, crimes in Cambridge over the years, I'm trying to think the tramway service. So I do topics like that. And we also meet with somebody with memories in Cambridge, um, hear their story. Uh, we also look at an org- other organisations who are involved with Cambridge history. Uh, we've met with the Folk Museum, the Museum of Technology, um, places like that, and hear how they get people involved with history. So it's quite quite in-depth. So from where will you broadcast all that then? Because you have to find somewhere to broadcast it from. Well, we've got our own studios. We record it in our own studios. Okay. Uh, we, we give a copy to Radio Adding Brooks, who broadcast it on a Wednesday. And oh, we still do that? Yeah, we still do that. Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah. Know that. Um, we, we also are on Cambridge 105 uh, monthly at the moment there, but after, in general, we're going fortnightly because it's gained that much interest and that can be heard at 105 FM. Okay. So you're spreading your wings a little Definitely, bit. Definitely, yeah. Um, we're also, we also can be heard on our website, which is at www.cambridgetimetraveler.com, 24 hours a day, anytime. You can just click on there, go to radio show, and you can hear it anytime you want. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. So the public can come to you with information if they like. Definitely, yeah. We're, we're always listening for, we want to hear people's memories and things they've been up to for the years. Like, we've heard some really interesting stories. Like, one man was talking to me the other day about when he was a child, uh, well, when he was younger, he used to go to the Tivoli Cinema, uh, which used to be down Chiston Road. Course it's, right. it's called some, uh, a bar now. Um, and he used to wait outside and he used to, in the walls, he used to scratch the old coins in the wall and make holes in the wall but it's hearing wonderful memories of how it's changed for the years and things like that of course the city has definitely changed a lot especially like the Kai area where the Grafton is and of course Petty Curie with the redevelopment of the Lion Yard oh I see my goodness so you spun your wings an awful lot yeah. then because <laughs> that's something I've never heard of so that means there will be some more of your produce if you like uh, on this radio station definitely um, a lot more but now we're going fortnightly so it'd be more regular yeah 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 but of course if you take uh, 16 hours to produce something like that you'll spend an awful long time doing it don't you uh, I do it's not just me we've got a team who edits yeah, together so the whole 16 hours is a group of people so it's not one individual person no. taking that amount of time mm. it can be put together quite quickly with the input that we've got okay okay 
After that, I think we need to have a, a track of yours. You have uh, three or four different tracks here. You have chosen music here. Uh, Imagine is one of them by yep. oh John Lennon. Yeah. John Lennon. Okay. I can tell you a bit. This this is a bit different version. It's actually um, a live version recorded at Apollo in 1971 on an acoustic guitar. So it's not electric piano. It's actually an acoustic guitar version. 1971. Yeah. So it's a bit of a different approach to it. Hang on a moment, but that's before your time. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like, you were there, definitely. I, well, I like, I, like the old, I like the older songs. Okay, okay. I don't blame you at all. <laughs> I don't blame you at all. It's just it goes a long, long way back. Okay, we still have that. Just after this, let's just have this here first. What am I going to play for now? Yes.